in the last uh, classes, two classes, we mentioned Bobby's story about being on the bus and, and being hungry and being invited out to uh, eat in a restaurant and being asked to give that over to other people. That story made such an impact in his life. Every one of us has a story. But my teacher of Shlomo Volva taught me that not only does everyone have a story, but everyone has a book. Right? Everyone's life is a book. And the book is made up of um, chapters, of um, paragraphs, of chapters, of, um, of sentences, of prose. And um, every experience we have is another, is another, is another uh, chapter, another paragraph in the book. And all of these experiences come together, and then we have an entire book in our hands. Yeah, every each and every one of us. But in order for this book to be written, you have to write it down. Right? You have a difficult experience in life. It's not so easy to translate it into a gift. It's not so easy to see the gift that you have um, in every single experience. So write it down. Write it down. Keep a diary. Keep a diary of significant events in your life and analyze them. Think about them. Try to understand how they fit in the whole storyline. I always give my example at a young age. Uh, of 20, uh, 23, 24, right after my marriage, I was um, I was in a serious car accident. I was hit by a car, thrown in the air, landed on my head, and run over by a truck, and pronounced dead. And that was a very difficult uh, time for me, right? Uh, uh, thank God they were wrong, the doctors, and I recovered from it. But then I decided I want to do something with my life. I want to be different. And I started to write books, and I started to teach. And um, after that, I had so many experiences, and all the experiences came together, right? From that accident, and through my recovery, and through the years and years afterwards, every single experience I had, significant, I wrote it down, and eventually um, turned it into a book that was written by Rabbi Nachman Seltzer, Encounters with Greatness. But each and every one of us has a book, right? And each, this was my teacher, Rosh Lama Boba Tommy, each and every one of us has a book that we could write, but we have to write and we have to think about it, because the storyline is very, um, story of mine is very, very uh, not so simple to detect. You have to put it together. You have to write the book. You have to see it. You have to analyze it. You have to see what happens in your life. Put everything together. Put the experiences together. And then you'll see, you know, a beautiful, beautiful story um, emerging. Yeah. You can make your book upbeat and vibrant. You can use your life to create the most vibrant and inspiring book possible. We could also use your, you could book could be depressing and it could be terrible. Each and every person has to write their own book. Don't let difficulties in your life ruin your book, but really make sure that your book is a wonderful book that everyone, that other people can also benefit from. Yeah. Um, and especially yourself. And the beautiful thing is that once you have your book, whatever your book might be, it's this book or it's this book. Once you have your book in hand, so then you're a different person because you understand that you have a unique purpose in this world that nobody else has. Nobody else has the purpose. Everyone is different. Everyone is unique. And everyone has something very significant to contribute to the entire world. And um, the contribution is based on the gifts of struggle, the gifts of struggle that you were given. Each and every one of those gifts, they come together to form a beautiful, beautiful gift that you can give to this world. I always quote the analogy that I heard from my teacher, Rabbi Tzvi Kushalevsky. He said that there was once a king who had a beautiful, beautiful emerald. And it was uh, one day it got a scratch on it, and the king was devastated. He didn't know what to do with himself. He was, for, for, for days and weeks on end, he was depressed about what had happened. One day an artisan was passing through the kingdom. He, he heard about the story. He said, um, he went to the king and said, I can help you. Give me a few hours with your uh, precious stone and I will fix the problem. The, he sat in a room with a stone with his, which is etching tools, and he turned that scratch that was on the diamond to a beautiful etching of a forest and rivers and mountains and lakes. It, was be it turned out to be a beautiful, beautiful um, picture. So instead of being a diamond with a scratch, it was a diamond with a beautiful, beautiful engraving on it. Each and every one of us is a diamond, and each and one of us gets scratches in our life. Those are the struggles that we have. We could take those struggles and turn them into a beautiful etching, right? Because a scratch is the beginning of a beautiful etching. If you leave it as a scratch, it looks like it's marred. But if you take the scratch and you and you and you incorporate it into a beautiful etching of mountains and rivers and, and valleys and streams and trees, it looks beautiful. And this is something we it's all have the power to do this. It depends on our tools. You know, we all need to take out our. Um, we need to take out our pens 
and to do that, right? And our pens are our life, right? And the and the book that we write, yeah, each and every one of us has our own book that we can write. And that book, right, is an invaluable tool. Writing down these experiences that we have and trying to look and find the beauty within each of these experiences, that can help us tremendously. We should all be successful in this wonderful endeavor.